Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the new API called WebDriver Manager. This API is introduced to solve the dependency problem between the browser and its executable. As we know that in the Selenium WebDriver, if I want to work with a particular browser, the first thing what I need to do is to download the driver executable and set the system property. So let me show you an example of it. So I'm going to write a simple script in which I will launch the Chrome browser and open the Google web page. So as you can see here, I have not specified the driver executable and when I run this script, it will fail. And our script got failed. To solve this problem, the standard way is to download the driver executable and set the system property. But with the help of WebDriver Manager API, you don't need to do that. That will be taken care by the WebDriver Manager API framework. So first, let me add the dependency for the WebDriver Manager. So again, you can go to the Maven repository and search for WebDriver Manager. And I'm going to add this in my pom.xml. And after that, you can use the WebDriver Manager to set up your browser. So for that, just use this syntax. WebDriver Manager dot Chrome. So as you can see here, it has support for all the driver. Chrome driver, Edge driver, Firefox driver and so on. So in the current case, I will use the Chrome driver dot setup. So after this statement, WebDriver Manager will take care of downloading the executable and also setting the system property. So let me rerun this script again. So as you can see here, now the script is able to launch the Chrome browser. Similarly, let me write one more script for the Firefox browser. So this will be changed to Firefox driver. And here I will use WebDriver Manager dot Firefox driver dot setup. So let me run this script in a debug mode. So as you can see here, it is able to launch the Firefox browser. So using this framework, you can just get rid of overhead of downloading the driver executable and setting the system property. This framework will take care of everything. It automatically detects what is the browser version present on your system and based on that, it will download the driver executable. So the driver executable is downloaded and kept inside the M2 folder. So just go to .m2 repository web driver. So you have Chrome driver and based on the browser version, it will download the corresponding driver executable. Similarly for the Firefox. So this is the place that is inside the .m2 repository web driver where it keeps the track of all the driver executable. You can visit the online documentation to get more information about the different API which this particular framework provides.